Hey Tubes, if you ever need a uh, redneck drill press or a drill press for unusual place, like here I'm trying to add a trailer hitch for the back of a utility trailer. And it just wouldn't be a really practical way of putting any uh, drill press in there. I mean, could probably fit one in there and have to be pretty tall. I would have to jack the whole trailer up. So basically what you do, you take yourself a jack. This is actually not a jack. This is a stabilizer jack on a trailer, not intended for jacking, but since it's a 5,000 pound jack, for just a drill press application where you need only maybe a couple hundred pounds at best, uh, it'll suffice. Now I'm here with my, what is it, power pack. Oh shit, that's hot. <laughs> uh, China drill, it's a half inch. And of course the uh, vice grip is keeping the hammer position off because that already stopped working a long time ago and you never really want to overstress this this is by the way a, a carbide drill bit a half inch and I'm running grade 8 bolts on the whole application but uh, if you have a where was I going with this if you want to use this uh, system and then use your crank handle very slowly you do not want to overstress this. This one I probably got a little too hot already. Wow, that's hot. So I'm gonna to have to wait off. It was actually smoking, but it was smoking already previously. And of course I'm using water because, you know, don't be using cutting oil because, well, I don't want to make a mess in the yard. So I'm using water. And plus I've seen it in one of those videos uh, called Pakistani truck. And uh, so I was able to use water like that and of course I'm trying to do this as inexpensively as possible as you might have surmised by now and this is how you can make, make yourself a little redneck drill press I'm not going to show you to how it works in action because I don't have a tripod currently uh, available for this I have one but it has a Wi-Fi setup on it and uh, just use your little crank handle uh, you could also use a socket and a wrench and slowly turn it pushing the jack as you need it but I would go a lot slower than this. Also keep your RPM slower. Um, typically, I'd say about three to 400 RPM is good for drilling holes like this. And when you actually, uh, which is like if we overstress a drill press. So anyway, that's just a little tip for a uh, redneck drill press. And uh, like my video, subscribe. Cheers.